Since the sequin Zara clutch has been so popular in the blogging world, I decided to design and create my own spin on the piece. I'm going to show you the easiest way to make it at a very low budget. You will need satin leopard fabric for the lining and canvas fabric. For the sequins, you will need one yard of the two row sequin trim and two yards of the five row sequin trim. A zipper that's at least eight inches long, scissors and a sewing kit, leather cement. The stuff is literally cement, my favorite fabric glue of all time. Measure your zipper and mark out the limits a little beyond the zipper length. Mine is a little bit over 9 inches, so I decided to make the pouch about 9.5 inches long and 6 inches wide. If you follow these exact measurements, you'll be able to know exactly how much you need of every material used. So again, it's 9 by 6. Well, 9 and a little bit by 6, just to go over the zipper a little. Make sure you cut at least an inch and a half beyond the marks you created so that way you have room for gluing and of course mistakes. Cut your silver fabric approximately the same size as your pouch dimensions. Distribute your glue evenly on the sides and diagonally both ways. That way you will have a nice kilted pattern when the glue dries so everything looks intentional. Cut off any glue excess with a paper towel. It's time to glue your pouch. Apply a thin strip of glue to the sides and fold them together. Use a book or some kind of weight to hold it together. I would advise leaving it to dry overnight to make sure the glue is completely dry before you fold the clutch inside out. You don't want it ripping apart. Now iron down the fabric at the opening of the clutch and glue it down. You want to make sure that the clutch is neat as possible inside out. If you don't have the time like me to leave it overnight to dry, just hand stitch along the glue strip. Or skip the glue altogether and just neatly hand stitch it. And if it doesn't look 100% neat when you iron it, it will, you'll create that nice fold. So now cut out the excess and turn your clutch inside out. And as I said, iron it to create those really crisp, nice lines. Now it's time to sew your zipper. You can glue this as well, but if you want to make sure it turns out really neat and really pretty, I would take the time and sew it. It took me about 10 minutes to do it. Now to the fun part. Measure your two row sequin trim Cut it and glue it down to your pouch. I'll hold my breath and, then I keep looking for and don't be afraid to apply a generous amount of glue. Measure the next five row trim, cut it and glue it down to the pouch. Make sure you're always gluing the trims facing in the same direction, so that way they're magically intertwining, giving the illusion like it's one seamless sequin pattern. Also, I would strongly advise you to use the exact same glue I'm using because I really doubt it would work with any kind of a different glue. Honestly, in my opinion, fabric glue is terrible. For the 9x6 pouch, you will need exactly three straps of the white sequin trim for the middle part and two strips of the narrow one to fill each side. So if you follow these measurements, you're all set. To make it look a little more chaotic, I'm gluing down some silver sequins in a zigzag pattern. 
To fill in the little holes in the sequins, I'm gluing little crystal beads, which will add a beautiful shine as well. Your beautiful statement piece with satin leopard lining is complete. If you decide to give this do-it-yourself a shot, send me a photo on my Facebook or Twitter. I always love seeing your takes on my tutorials. Don't forget to check out the detailed instructions of my blog and think chic. Take me out to play.